the prayer tent started two years ago in, in 2011 when a Methodist lady um, approached the Festival of Republic and, and said, can we put up something, a tent, to, to do something at the Leeds Festival? And, and the Leeds Festival, the, the Festival Republic, said, yep, yeah, that's great, we'd love to. And from there, that first time was, was very small, just local. And then last year, we, we broadened it out, um, made it 24 hours a day uh, running. And, and then this year, um, we've added not only the, the prayer tent running from Wednesday through till uh, Monday but we've also got the, the lost property tent and we're doing detached work so that this work has really grown a great deal. So first night, one of the things we were doing, a lot of people were setting up tents, and um, we had a couple of people sort of struggling. In fact, I don't know if you can see that green tent over there. I don't know if it's on camera, but we had a bit of a bit of trouble setting it up. So we went over and asked they needed some help and got them sorted out. So I think we did three tents this evening. So it was good fun. Last night there was um, a ridiculous storm. Uh, it's basically a monsoon. Um, the the prayer tent flooded. We kind of had this much water below our feet. Um, and it was just insane outside, people were just getting soaked, absolutely soaked, so um, everyone came in, they all had a hot drink, we, we had a great atmosphere, it was the only place I think that was dry, um, so we just had some great chats, we met loads of people, um, I met a really, really nice guy who um, we were just talking about spirituality, about God, um, and I was answering loads of his questions, which was really cool, and then I had the privilege of praying for him. Um, I asked for God to heal his stomach, um, which is really cool, so hopefully I'm going to get to see him today again, and uh, we're going to see if his stomach's okay, and uh, hopefully see some fans together. Well, yes I am. I keep getting asked the same question, am I a real vicar? Yes, I really am. I'm a Methodist minister, I've been here at the festival, just trying to help them look after people really. Just helping them to, to think a little bit about taking uh, about what God might mean to them. Uh, we've got a couple of exciting things happening in the prayer tent. I'm going to be involved in my first wedding blessing on the site of the festival this year. I'm very excited about it on Sunday morning. So yes, I am a real vicar and yes, I do real vicar stuff. I'm heading up the detached work at the festival. It's the new thing for us, um, but it's a development of the work that we do in Leeds Centre as Street Angels, where we go around every Friday night looking out for people who have had too much to drink and a bit lost and confused. So we're kind of doing the same thing here. Um, we're working, walking around the campsites, helping out, giving out sun cream, plasters, sweets, anything we can do to try and make someone's day a little bit better. It's been good fun, we've met a lot of people, it's been really good getting to know the staff, um, and we're hoping that this work can grow and grow through this festival and on into the future. Anything that helps others, as far as I've been said, it is superb. Brilliant. I think festivals angels are really like, very informative, aren't they? Hello. We've had a good conversation. Thank you Festival Heroes for making our Leeds Festival what it was, you're helping us out with everything, carrying bags, tidying up, heroes, thank you very much for making us feel safe at the festival. Thank you! We are loving Leeds Festival and all the angels are amazing and look after us. Thank you so much Love to you the so angels, you changed my life! My name is Nick Shepherd. I'm the manager of the Lost Property Tent. And uh, what we're doing at Festival of the Angels, we're doing two reasons. One is because Festival of the Republic, the organisers, asked us to do it because they wanted someone they could trust to do it and they've had some difficulties in previous years. Uh, and because they got to know us, they said, would you be up for it? And we said yes. And secondly, we're doing it because there's nothing better than helping people when they've lost some stuff, which most of our customers have. They've lost something which may be very precious to them or something that they need during the festival like wellies. And uh, so they come in here. And the good news is that we have lots of happy bunnies. In fact, we have a happy bunnies list 
of all the faces of the smiley people and we're at Crestle time and we're still early in Crestle, we've already reunited 30 people with their, their belongings. I just found my wellies uh, and to know. be honest I'm very overcome with emotion. Uh, we haven't even made it to win I lost the bus class, she didn't know where she lost it and the train tickets in there. Um, she was just about to log it in on the lost property side. Um, some guys that are working there on the steward and they've actually walked in and put it on the side and Andrew opened it up to uh, put it onto the computer she turned around she's seen that had her face on it and she was over the room and she's got that back as well. Somebody came in and bought a box of insulin and uh, fortunately on the box was the pharmacy label with the name and address of the person. We got Ollie, one of our volunteers, to go on Google and start searching and uh, he found this guy on Facebook and on Twitter and we put a tweet out and a Facebook message and at about half past eight last night somebody came into the tent, asked for me and uh, it was the chap who had lost his insulin so we've averted somebody of being at risk from going into a diabetic coma and uh, reunited somebody with, with their product via Twitter. Brilliant. Well, guys that came into the um, Lost Property Tent said that um, that we were so friendly and that um, they're going to so come back next year. They hope something will get lost <laughs> so they can come to Lost Property Tent and see us because we we're all so friendly and so nice. Yay for Leeds Angels! Really, what, what this um, Festival Angels is all about is about being a presence here at the festival, saying to, to the festival goers, we as church members, as Christians, we want to stand with you, we want to be with you and, and just listen to, to what you have to say and to, to, to say that Christ is, is here with you uh, and that it's, a, it's about a being there and, and, and letting them say what they have to say about whatever joys or sorrows they have in their lives.